What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome to Quantum Break. I had the amazing opportunity to go capture the first few hours of this game up in San Francisco and now I get to bring it straight to your eyeballs and your ears. Quantum Break is an upcoming Xbox One exclusive from Remedy, the makers of Alan Wake and the original Max Payne's and we haven't heard or seen a whole lot on this one. It involves time powers, time travel and some weird integration between gameplay and a live action TV show. But let me tell you, Quantum Break exceeded all of my expectations. It is super freaking amazing. I can't stop thinking about it. And it is now my most anticipated game. We're going to get to check out the first few hours of this adventure together. And if you guys are pumped and want to see more, just smash that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I think you're going to love it. It packs in challenging and super fun combat, amazing, engaging storytelling, a crazy, twisted time travel plot, and a bunch of super cool characters. Characters. I am so grateful that I got this opportunity and I owe it to you guys. Thanks for all your support over the years making stuff like this possible for the Ghost Robo Army. It's so cool that we get to be one of the first people and places on the planet to show off the opening hours of Quantum Break and I cannot wait to get started because oh, it is so freaking good. Now I wasn't allowed to capture the opening cutscene so let me just recap for you. We are about 10 minutes into the game when we pick up and Jack, our main character, has returned to a college where his friend Paul works and he wants to help him out with an experiment. Paul made the call saying, hey Jack, I'm doing this time travel experiment, I need some help. But when Jack gets there, he realizes that it's a lot more intense and potentially dangerous than Paul let on. So Jack shows up, Paul shows him the experiment, it's a little bit sketchy, and then Jack's brother Will enters the scene and says, hey, don't do this. But Paul is not a very good listener, and that is where we pick things up. The experiment and Paul go a little haywire, and now Jack and Will have to escape the exploding facility, and from there it just gets weirder and wilder. I am so excited. So without further ado, Quantum Break, guys and girls, begins right about now. Gotta keep moving. No! You just... What just... Go. This way. Move. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out of control burst of energy that saved Will. Oh, baby. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it... It must have altered your relation to the chrono Will, field. What I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. We have time powers or exposure to the Cronon field. I'll try to explain, but we have to go. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Well, locked. They cut my security clearance. Ah, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. All right, we are the brawn of this operation here. HQ, securing the well, server. Over. More of them. Hide. Say hello to combat and quantum break. They're coming. In here. Or not yet. I guess we're gonna follow Will and hide for a little longer. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make him listen to me. A shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always Shh, good. Shh, you. <gasps> Don't breathe. Don't move a muscle. This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... <gasps> I 
Oh. Phew. Think we're okay for now. You have no context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I I'm sorry. Right. So Will is sort of a scientist. He did experiments before Paul even put this whole thing together. And he tried to warn us, but we did not listen. The detail in this game is insane. The environments are so gorgeous and so full of life and detail. The fracture in time is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. If you haven't recognized already, Jack, our main character, is Sean Ashmore, who played Iceman. Will, get out! In the X-Men movies. Opening fire. And then uh, Will is Dominic yeah. Monaghan. Yeah, I noticed. From Lost and Lord of the Rings fame. Our first bullet connects. Jesus. Go, go, go. Yeah. Will. Get out. Control in combat feels absolutely incredible. You Stop automatically the magnetize the cover uh, and the way that you handle uh, the gunplay and then eventually all your time powers. It's super incredible and pretty like visceral brutal combat. There's kill cams on the final kill in a room uh, and just some of the ways that you can use the different powers together. You'll see later on in the different videos once I acquire the full arsenal. It is a show of force and Will, fireworks okay? for sure. I think so. But Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. So there's a little bit of flashback stuff going on because Jack good. is kind of. This is not good. He's kind of retelling it. Wait. It's coming down. Hi. <gasps> not again. He's, he's retelling it to someone interviewing him, uh, and that's oh, kind of the on, setup for the story and, and why it's being this. told like this. Where is everybody? I don't like it. You heard the gunfire. Something. Boom. Headshots feel super good, especially with that pistol. You tell me. Hey, for once, this isn't my fault. Monarch is the company that Paul is associated with. Boom, headshot. If you were worried about like combat not being the most satisfying in Alan Wake with the flashlight stuff, boy oh boy, they are back to like max pain levels of insanity here. The time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we can fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the <laughs> Okay... What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh! Time is frozen, but we can still move through it, and we have the opportunity to affect the placement of people and things to save the life of our brother. Somehow I can focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stay. She was right. About the fracture. About all of us. Take the weapons from these guys, frozen in place. It's a good look for you. 
There's a whole ton of collectibles uh, and extra bits of story here in the game. Alan Wake had a lot of this stuff, and it's cool to see it here. Uh, you can pause if you want to read all the different narrative objects. It would take forever if I read them all to you. So this stutter in time is not in our control. It will collapse at any moment. This way. And then those bullets will continue to come cruising straight for us. The campus here ripped apart. Monarch is assaulting students, civilians. They have to cover up for this mess, this experiment gone wrong. Make sure there's no witnesses. She's terrified. Remember that face, because this girl will come back later. She's not in freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with Cronon exposure. Cronon is kind oh, of just like... It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. Yeah, Cronon is like just like their special time juice, basically. Uh, there are some Alan Wake references around here as well um, that happened before the experiment, like right at the start of the game that were pretty sweet. But yeah, bad stuff is going down in this town. Conspiracy cover-up. We can get to the parking lot through the ledge hall. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Almost reminds me of like Bioshock Infinite in a way with the story and like people who have come from other alternate Through this door. dimensions, realities, timelines, time loops. I just love the environment so much. So much detail, so much care and attention. For now. It's a gorgeous game. Oh, no, no. My car. The patrol in the parking lot. Oh god, that's it's okay. Okay, well. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? <laughs> no. Then we'll call it even. The concern here is the end of time. I don't even know what that means yet. I don't know if they even know. Here. You'll need the case. But that is what we're worried about at this point. That's what Will is warning us of. The end of time. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah. Okay, I, I will. Will's car is through a sea of monarch meanies. Time vision is kind of like detective vision. Any of those what things. The hell. In recent games where you can see stuff. I started to sense things. Premonitions. Echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. <laughs> he is a scientist after all. Ooh. SMG. Now we can fire free. Not have to worry about pistol shots and their automatic weapons coming after me. One of the things that I loved about Alan Wake early on was you saw a gas station in the distance and you could actually go there no load screens no awkward uh you know transitions it was just out there and you could reach it and this game takes that and expands upon it with these massive environments so much scale so much detail like it definitely is a next gen single player experience and i freaking love that And it mixes like platforming, puzzle solving, combat, storytelling, collecting. It's a really like a beautiful mixture of a bunch of different game mechanics and styles and it all works so well together. You'll see our little time vision icon there on the right, but we are about to get a whole lot more in terms of powers and they have spotted us. Not good. Eat my assault rifle. We were supposed to be on vacation. But Paul called us back and we kind of regret listening to the dude. I gotta say, the AI is pretty aggressive too. And it'll show even more later on. Like, they get nasty with us. I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. 
So we're able to see all the different folds of time, activate these different echoes. I hope to God I'm not too late. Too late. But that's... I'm seeing the past. I hope to God I'm not too late. Too late. There we go. Found his car. <gasps> oh shit! Ooh, baby. Another time Something power. Clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused Get area. You don't know what you're doing. Well. This is the super sweet one you've seen probably. Fuck. They're coming from the I gotta get back to you can stop time, I fire bullets God, into the bubble, him. and then when time unfreezes, those bullets will pierce their target all at once, creating a massive damage stack. And that comes in super handy when you're fighting heavier enemies, but it still looks sweet against the regular fronts. Destroying cars, taking out lights, trying to drink our brain juice straight from our poor styled hair head. And we gotta get back to Will. Look at that. Like, the tech behind this is absolutely amazing, too. The fact that it works on anything and everything, it just gets wilder the more powers we acquire. Still a couple dudes up by the door. Not sure the assault rifle. We'll reach them! Boom, shaka laka. But there, when we stop time, it gives us a chance to actually have a little more impact there. Time vision these other guys. Where they at? Uh oh, someone else behind. Hello, buddy. The aiming is a little bit tight, so I actually turned down the sensitivity. Uh, Change of plans. A little later on. I need to get to Will. He's in trouble. Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than... Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will. Will is gone, but Beth Wilder is here, and that's the girl that Will mentioned. Somehow she's traveled through time and met us before. Uh, and I think this is where I go to uh, tune the uh, the aim sensitivity a little bit, just because it that dot moves pretty quickly. I love how they just have stuff scrawl all over the chalkboards. I gotta get to Will. All the attention to little detail is, is epic. Alright, making our way to the library. <gasps> Whoa! Fuck. Another time power! Time dodge! This one is amazing because after time dodge, you activate a little bit of bullet time, like Max Payne style. You'll see that in a second as I take that dude out with time stop. Time dodge, it'll, uh, I'll use it in a second here, but after time dodge, you can grab a few quick shots in sort of full easy time. The physics on the enemies are amazing. And they, they balance it perfectly where you might think, oh god, you're really overpowered and like, hey, this is gonna be just like a cakewalk, but it's not. The enemies are challenging, they throw a ton of them at you, and eventually we'll face off against guys that have time powers of their own, making for some super sick Dragon Ball Z like boss battle type encounters that are just fast, furious, and you have to outduel your opponent with all of your arsenal. Gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking you. Alright, so moving through campus here. Hoping we'll isn't taken. Paul's supposed to be our friend, but based on his actions, I'm not sure we can trust him anymore. What? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. Somebody else helping us. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. There's focus time where we get that bullet time for a second, and we can 
flick off some headshots. One, two, three, like we're doing second grade math. The combat is stronger uh, than something like Last of Us if you're giving a vibe like that. It sort of reminds me of that in terms of mixing like some platforming, some slow moments, storytelling, collectibles, and cool combat. But the combat is cooler here and I think feels better. Uh, it's got like a really great design to it. They definitely learned from Alan Wake and now have just put the pedal all the way to the metal and then through the metal uh, because you work some freaking magic here with your guns and your gear and your powers so these guys are coming for us stairway to heaven no siree more like stairway to misery make you pay time dodge get that quick little focus mode there's also upgrades in this game so we will be able to increase that focus mode and more uh, which is pretty sick they just they have everything I love about games all here and graphically it just looks sexy as heck and the fact that like saves transfer between PC and Xbox One, that's amazing too. All right, picking up a heavy pistol. Good night, sleep chat. Enjoy the plants. Don't steal their light. All right. Okay, gotta get to the library. So now I've got like a revolver basically here. We've got time stop, time vision, and time dodge. A triple jam of time powers, but we still crave more. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Alright, so here is where sort of the platforming parts begin to show. <sighs> Climb over some porta potties. A little bit of stench, but it's okay. At least we didn't, uh. Have to use them. No bathroom breaks for game characters. Well, here I thought it was going to be a quiet night. But it sounds like things have taken a real bad turn down at the anti-monarch protest at Riverport University. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I've just heard about security personnel in the employee of Monarch Solutions detaining students. And some reports of gunfire. Now, I don't want to jump the gun. Alright, so there's a radio show that will come into play, kind of like Alan Wake. Looks like a way up. Uh, and I, I just love the fact that they've invested so much into the story. Come on, I don't have time for this. Uh oh. So the puzzle solving uh, is guided by colors, kind of like Mirror's Edge. Yellow is what you want to look for. Uh, but slowing this down is going to be what we want to do. Because it goes down. <laughs> But as you see, time stop can be used on more than just monarch soldiers. So we've learned our lesson. And now Jack Joyce become a master of the world. Stopping time to his advantage. We'll head into the library. Is helping what the hell's us. going on around here? But who? Can't be Will because he's captured. Maybe it's Beth? I think she's a super cool character. Lighting on point. Time vision. Some sort of collectible down below. Can't get through there. William, William, where are you? Waiting orders. They got over. I wonder where the brother is. The skeleton crew and wait for arrival of Monarch Shh. Everybody else needs to reunite at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction. Wait for further orders. Time stop. And then we will revolve these bullets straight into that dude. Grenade now. Uh, you can switch shoulders for gunplay. Get a little bullet time there. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let Jack Joyce buy. Actually, I did buy. And you have been bitten. 
The time powers refresh pretty quickly as well, so you can use them more often than you'd think. And I like that decision. I like the fact that you actually get to use all of the awesome stuff you acquire all the time. As opposed to like, oh, I use it once and then it's just regular ho-hum, you know, gunplay. You get to use all of your stuff frequently, which is fun. Uh, and like I said, they keep it challenging enough where you don't feel like some superhero just wrecking everybody. It doesn't have that sense of extreme, you know discrepancy in your power versus their power. It's pretty balanced, miraculously. Jack, run! <gasps> we have reached Will, and we are pissed off, so that will bring about another power. Time shield this time, baby. Now we can block bullets, keep ourselves safe, and I think... This is where we'll leave off for part one. I hope you guys had a blast with this video. The game is incredible. I can't wait to show you guys more. If you're pumped for that, make sure to leave a like. I may make a video uh, just kind of talking all about the story and characters because that is super cool to think about and talk about and where it's all going to go. I think it's going to have a really crazy story. Uh, like I said, kind of like a Bioshock Infinite type thing. I hope that comes true because I love just looking at theories for that. Uh, but hopefully you guys had fun today. Super glad I could bring this to you really early. And uh, I cannot wait for this one coming out in just a few weeks now. Well, a little more than a few weeks, but it's pretty soon before E3 and all that. So it'll be one of the standouts for the first half of 2016. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me throughout the years and being a part of this Ghost Robo Army. Definitely uh, subscribe for more. I'll bring you part two as soon as I can. If you're ready for it, hit that like button. Until next time, everybody, drink some hot chocolate, pop your popcorn. Thanks again. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you all later.